Hello and welcome to your five-day Mohawk Valley forecast. I'm meteorologist Jeff Matthews, Accurate Educational Fun. Make sure if you enjoy this, if you watch this, share it on your Facebook page. Share it on your Twitter. Every way you can, because most people do not know this exists. And there's no way I'm going to be able to get this off the ground completely on my own. I need your help. Periscope, 555, live broadcast as well every single night. Interactive. Makes it better than TV. Snow into midday Monday, that's when it ends, so there's your timing. Amounts about 5 or 6 inches for central New York. It's going to snow every day this week, it's just that some days flurries, like Tuesday morning, and again Friday. And then heavier snow Wednesday night, Thursday. Temperature shelf, a nasty one, is coming Thursday and Friday. Wow, this is a take your breath away. 30s, Monday and Tuesday, starts dropping Wednesday, and then look at the high temperature forecast for Thursday and Friday. Yeah, that's frigid. The highest, 20 and 18, and then it ramps way up Saturday with an incoming storm. Snow days are Monday, Wednesday night, Thursday, and Saturday as well. Here's the latest honking huge storm. It's trying to push a warm front in, which will succeed in a changeover to rain for southern New York State and Jersey and Pennsylvania and Connecticut to the Cape of Massachusetts. But the storm center itself will pass directly over central New York, and we're in the heart of the snow, which will wind down by midday Monday. The clouds will linger into Tuesday, and there's going to be a secondary polar front that's going to come plunging through, bringing some flurries Tuesday morning. And this is a storm I talked about last week would be moving across the high plains, and then would form that area of snow that I just showed you on the national radar, and that would push eastwards into Monday morning. So that's why I've been playing this up as the storm moves in for Monday morning. The snow continues until about midday and the damage? Five, six, seven inches for Syracuse and Utica, a little less for Oneonta, two to four, a little more up towards the Tug Hill and in the Adirondacks, six, eight, nine, maybe ten inches of snow. And it all winds down by lunchtime on Monday. The storm impact is in a moderate category I'd say five to seven inches on a Monday morning has a significant impact on your life. And it's almost all in the snow category of the four weather types. Here's the almanac. Saturday and Sunday, I predicted 27 and 29. It turned out 24 and 29. I think you'll be satisfied with that. A hundredth over the weekend, but it actually was such a dry snow, it amounted to two more inches to bring us to a seasonal total of 17. Daylight, 9.02, it'll drop another four or five minutes and then bottom out and begin reversing in a couple of weeks. So, before we move on to the forecast, you can support weathertainment. Watching, sharing, retweeting, watching Periscope, and on the partner page on cnyweathertainment.com, making some purchases that help support weathertainment. Okay, Monday, snow in the morning. Done by noon, there's a south wind in the morning that shifts to west, and that's the cue for the snow to end. Five, six, maybe seven inches of snow. Mostly cloudy Monday night, 26. Some flurries Tuesday morning, the clouds linger in the afternoon, 34. And then Wednesday p.m. into Thursday, another serious lake effect snow event. This is going to be much more significant than late last week's. So expect that Wednesday night into Thursday, and bitter cold temperatures to follow. That is your five-day forecast. Make it a great day.